So hi everyone. Today I will be telling you a secret software that I have developed using Python to generate Udemy courses using AI. So this means that it will generate the entire video. It will mimic your audio as well. So it appear like you are speaking, but you are not. That would be done using a TTS LLM. Apart from that, we would be syncing the video as well as the audio. So this is one of the courses that I have generated using AI and I've already published it on Udemy. The best part being that Udemy has a manual moderation process as well. So there is a team of human beings who check out about the content and the content has been approved. So this is of the best part. And as you can see, we have got 13 students as well. So this particular video is not to promote my course, to be honest, but how I created it and so that you can also understand and create it. So here you can see that there is a list of videos that I've added to the course. All these videos I will be releasing on YouTube as well. So no worries about it. Generative AI basics, LLMs, prompt engineering, rack framework, etc, etc. So let's now jump on to the one of the sample videos and you would be able to see the quality of the audio generated and the video and there would be certain challenges that I would be explaining you. So let's get started. So just watch this one of the sample videos that I generated for K means. What is K-means clustering and how does it work? Now, as you saw that there is some animation elements also present. You might have heard my audio coming in, which you might not have been able to make out. It is generated using an open source LLM. Everything is free to use. And the best part being no major hardware is also required. So I ran this particular code on a 4 GB GPU system and it worked like crazingly good it didn't took much time and i was able to create the entire course in within one day passing the text and generating the videos now let's have a look k means is an unsupervised learning algorithm used to divide data into groups or clusters it works by selecting k initial centroids and assigning each data point to the nearest centroid then hugging face faces that can it updates the centroids based on the mean of the points assigned to each cluster repeating until convergence now here you can see that some animation elements are present and audio is completely insane. How do you determine the number of clusters NK in K means? So this is how the video looks like. A question comes in, you get an answer. Another question comes in, you get an answer. So it was an interview course that I was trying to prepare. But you can tweak around the code that I would be sharing in the comment section to generate more complicated systems. So before we jump onto the code, I would love to introduce you two major libraries that I have used. First one is the audio cloning LLM that I have used that is F5 TTS. So it is one of the best open source model for audio cloning. And as you heard of the quality, I think I just don't have any doubt that it is the best open source TTS model for audio cloning. It is very easy to set up also on the GitHub page. They have mentioned the steps and here you can see that you just need to provide a reference audio. This is the code to run. F5 TTS, you need to provide us audio sample 15 seconds. And this is a reference text, what was said in the audio and the text you wish to generate. Very, very easy. Now the next library that I wish to introduce you is Manim. So I think if you are into AI, ML or in mathematics, you might have heard of three blue, one brown channel on YouTube, which uses the same library to generate mathematical animated videos. So I also use the same particular package to generate the videos and then wrote some code using video pi and other things to combine the audio and the video to generate the final video. This is crazily going to take me some time, but a very great experiment as you would say. So now we would be jumping onto the codes. Just go through the code slowly and all the codes are present in the comment section. So as you can see that I start, you need to first of all pip install manin. You need to pip install pydub after setting up F5 TTS as given on GitHub. PyDub I'm using to get the length of the audio generated. I will be telling you why I'm doing it. So there are certain elements uh, in the video that you would have noticed. The most major challenge that I faced was basically to sync up the audio with the video. As at times the audio was moving ahead, at times it was behind. So this is why PyDub was important and I implemented a logic so that whatever is the PyDub length, like for example for the audio that I generated, if it is of 10 seconds, even the video snippet for that particular section should be of 10 seconds. So this is what I considered. Now, if you look in the text that I passed it, it is a question answer system. What is K-means clustering and how it works? Now an answer, again a question, again an answer by changing a line. Just whatever format you use, 
do remember to change the codes also because here what I'm trying to achieve is I'm trying to create question answer pairs from the given text. So this is how the final text should look like before passing it to the solution that I'm making. This might be a little complicated to use, but once you set it up, it's there's no going back. So this is one set that I've created. As you can see, the question has a question mark in the end and I'm separating the answer with the question using a slash n that is a new line character. And this is the second question. Similarly, the third answer like this. This is a list of question answers that I've created. And then I have replaced the new line character to get a particular list. Now once done, here are certain functions that are very important that I will help you to understand what I did. So what I did for every question and every answer. So in the k-means video that you saw, if there are 20 questions and 20 answers, so I would be creating 40 video snippets. One for each question, one for each answer. So this is where I'm using PyDub. If you remember, I'm trying to get the length of the particular audio sample that I generated. This is the function that I'm using to generate the cloned audio. As you can see, sample.mp3 is the sample that I'm sending for my audio. And this is the text. So hi everyone, today we will be testing out Flux Generator, something like this. And then generate text is the question or the answer, whatever question I said. Now later on, as you can see, I'm saving this particular audio as .mp3 file at a particular location with a given sequence number. So the first question would be sequence one. The first answer would be two. The second question would be three. The second answer would be four and likewise. So every text would be given a unique sequence number. Now this is the most important class that we are using in particular manner. So this is the manning class that I'm using to generate the video. There are certain parameters that I'm setting up here, color, duration, output file, etc. This is the major part. So one more thing that you would notice uh, that would you would face a challenge while automating such thing is that text wrapping is very important. At times the answer would be of 100 words, at times the answer would be of just 10 words. In that case, you would need to play around with the font size also. If the answer is too long, you need to fit it everything in a single screen. If the answer is too small, you want it to fill up the screen. So as you can see what I did for every question, I'm trying to create a bunch of, I'm trying to create certain chunks and depending upon the length of the words, depending upon the length of the answer, I'm playing around with the font size here, as you can see, right. And then adding up certain sort of animations also to edge next to this. These are codes using uh, in Manim. To give, to give you certain sort of animation. So you would be, if you remember from the video, once the entire answer was getting displayed, the lines were getting omitted one by one. So there are certain animations that I've added fade out. You just, just have a look at the code. If you don't, you can just get the code at the comment section below. Once done, this is the main function where I'm calling all the above functions. As you can see here, I'm reading through the question answer set QA list that we prepared at the top. I'm first of all, for all the question answer set that I've got, I'm generating the audio and then generating the video accordingly for that duration. As you can see here, the role of duration is very important because whatever length of audio you have generated within that duration only, you need to do all the animation stuff. You need to print the entire sentence also, all that thing. So there are certain equations that are going here that you need to understand. As you can see, self dot duration slash number of chunks, certain things you need to wait out also so that you are in completely sync with the audio. This might be a little complicated, but a very interesting experiment that I did. And then I'm saving the video snippet as well. Now here you can see that when you see the output, this is the first video snippet that would have been generated. What is K-means clustering and how does it work? So it's the one question. Duration is 2.763 seconds for the audio that was generated. Now again, this is the answer. Now next we'll be generating a video for the answer and the duration would be 17.14 seconds. Similar for all the questions and answers that we have done. Now, once we have created an entire list of many video snippets for each question and each answer, the next step, the last step would be to merge everything together. Right. So for that, what we are doing here, we are first, there are two options to do it. Either you merge all the videos together, all the audios together, and then merge the final video with the final audio. Right. Either that can be done or other thing that you can do is you merge video and its corresponding audio together first and then you create all the full videos and then merge all these snippets with their audios together. 
So either you first of all merge just the videos, just the audios, and merge the final two different files together, or you merge snippet by snippet, completing all the questions and answers in single videos. So I followed the second step where I am loading the video, I am loading the corresponding audio, I am merging them together as you can see here, video clip dot set audio, and then I am creating a final video here, concatenate video clips, and then writing it in an output path. Once done, as you can see, I am finally creating merged video audio pairs and everything is created for us. This might take some time, but once you are done, you can play the final video here, the same video that I was talking about. What is K-means clustering and how does it work? K-means is an unsupervised learning algorithm used to divide data into groups or clusters. It works by selecting K, use alternatives like K-metoids that handle categorical variables better. So this is how I created an entire Udemy course using AI. Now you can use Manim, you can use F5 TTS, everything is free. And you can also create your videos, you can create videos for YouTube. And if not just YouTube, you can create videos for any sort of course also. This is a crazy time to be in AI and I would suggest you to check this particular pipeline out. Thank you so much.